let's try understanding the very important concept from decision tree point of view known as guinea and entropy so this is also known as information gain and guinea index or gini index so what are these things these things are tree splitting criteria one of the most important concept to understand in decision tree and also one of the common interview question when you go for data science interviews welcome to unfold data science this is aman here and i am a data scientist in this video i am going to explain you gini and entropy with this simple data how does tree split in background let's try understanding so if you see this data guys this is the same data that i have been using in my previous explanation or examples as well so you can think this of as a financial institution data or a bank loan data okay so we have customer id then we have loan amount and we have loan status so this is kind of historical data of a bank okay now what happens when we take this data and we run a decision tree algorithm on top of this data the very first thing that will happen here is decision tree algorithm has to decide how to create the tree okay so i'm talking about how to create the tree so as i explained in my last video the link for which you can see here the decision tree algorithm creates a tree internally and for creating a tree it needs to decide what should be the root node when i say what should be the root node the candidate for root nodes are all the independent variables so how many independent variables are here id is 1 and loan amount is 1 right now out of these two let's say you take the id and loan amount as the candidate of your root node for the decision tree but internally the algorithm has to decide how to split and on which condition to split so let's try understanding what is gini index first or gini index so gini index is basically calculated by this formula okay 1 minus summation of probability of c square where c c is equal to i to j okay the meaning of this is we have to compute the probability for all the breakages that happens inside the tree okay so i'll give you an example and make you understand how this particular thing is calculated okay let's try understanding that so for example if we say the root node let's say for example the root node for this decision tree is loan amount greater than 200 or greater than equals to 200 let's say okay so how many records are greater than equals to 200 here okay one record is this other record we can see here so let's take all these records this side where this condition is true okay and for these records this condition is false right so let's take all these records this side okay so we have to actually calculate the impurity of the node so this is an split or we can say impurity of the split now what would be the best case scenario here is if we can find a condition such that all the true goes on one side and all the false goes on one side what i mean to say here is all the in target variable one class comes this side and other class comes this side if by doing something by putting some condition we are able to split the training data like that then that would be the best split but here when we split on this condition then on this side of the tree we have two bad okay and on this side of the tree we have two good i'm counting here the target variable and one bad okay two good and one bad so this is how my target variable or what i intend to learn through this training is getting splitted now we'll put this in the formula for gini so the formula for gini is 1 minus summation of probability of i square okay so the meaning of this is we'll just take 1 minus probability of first we will calculate the probability of this side of the tree okay so if we come this side then what is the probability the probability of good class is 0 because there are 0 good classes 0 by 
square plus 2 by 2 square right so 2 by 2 square so this is the Gini index for this side okay now if we compute this it will be 1 minus this will be 0 and this will be 1 which means 1 which means 0 so Gini index for this side or this branch of the tree will be 0 let's put the formula for this side of the tree so when we go for this side of the tree the Gini calculation will be 1 minus we have to take the probability of both the class so probability of good class 2 good classes out of 3 which means 2 by 3 whole square plus probability of 1 by 3 square okay so here how many we will have we will have 1 minus 4 by 9 plus 1 by 9 which means 1 minus 5 by 9 which means 4 by 9 so 4 by 9 is the guinea index of this side and 0 is the guinea index of this side so finally how the final guinea index will be calculated that is called the weighted guinea index okay so that will be calculated as how many records out of 5 are on this side 2 records so 2 into guinea index of this side 0 and actually 2 by 5 into 0 and how many records out of 5 went this side 3 records which means 3 by 5 3 out of 5 went this side and what is the guinea of this side 4 by 9 okay 4 by 9 so whatever this final number comes this becomes the guinea index or guinea score for this particular split okay now why guinea is 0 here is because all the classes uh, all the target variable belong to the same class in this set what happens if all bad comes this side and all good comes this side then this side also gini index will be zero okay in that case the final gini index will be zero which is the best case scenario so gini index will always range between zero to one apart from that let's say in place of this la greater than equals to 200 if we take another condition let's say la greater than equals to 100 okay we compute guinea index like this like the way we calculated for this condition and what will happen inside the algorithm is algorithm will compare the guinea index for this condition and this condition not only for a column algorithm will go to other columns as well for example algorithm might take a condition like id greater than 3 and calculate a guinea for that as well okay similarly it will calculate the guinea index for all the possible split which can happen at that particular node and it will come with a guinea index for all those conditions and remember guys wherever it finds the minimum guinea index that particular split and that particular column will be selected as the tree splitting criteria at that particular node i repeat it minimum guinea index from all the available condition how guinea index will be calculated like this minimum guinea index from all the required all the available columns and conditions wherever it finds the minimum value that will be selected as the criteria for the split okay so guinea is nothing but a selection criteria or tree split criteria when we call a decision tree algorithm we just say criteria is equal to guinea or in some languages guinea is the default splitting criteria for the tree imagine a situation where in this there are four records and in this there are also four records okay and two good here and two bad here and two good here and two bad here this is the worst combination this is the combination which will have highest guinea index and hence this will be lowest priority for the selection okay so this is about how guinea index is calculated and how minimum guinea index is chosen for the tree splitting okay there is another splitting criteria called entropy commonly known as information gain okay so when we call a decision tree algorithm as i told you in some of the languages you just say criteria is equal to guinea okay or you can say criteria is equal to entropy or information gain okay information gain but in some of the languages as i told this is the default you know splitting criteria 
so how is entropy different from Gini index just the formula why it's different what is the formula for entropy minus summation of j is equal to 1 to c probability of j multiplied by log base 2 probability of j so this is the only difference between Gini and entropy the formula for entropy or information gain is this what you can see on the screen and again similarly the way we calculated probabilities probabilities will be calculated and information gain will be computed and then wherever the lowest information gain occurs that particular condition will be selected as the condition for splitting of the tree so that is how Gini and entropy works on the condition wise where to split the tree now to ask what to use when so basically Gini is little faster because the calculation is little simpler in entropy you have log function and hence calculation sometimes takes more time but end of it it's your data and it's your you know model that decides which of these two criteria fits best for your data so i'm sure you might be having some of the question on this topic if you have so go ahead and write down in comment i'll definitely respond to you let me know through likes and comments how did you like this video i'll see you all in the next video till then take care